Here we are again, relying on ye old entity tactic. Obviously, if I if I pause, hang on. There you go. You can see the seven in the corner. We're gonna hope to God that there is actually a raid here. If not, you know, this doesn't make it into a video, then goodbye. But if it does, I want all of you guys down below to like and subscribe if you guys aren't new. Thank you guys, by the way, for 60,000 subscribers. But we're gonna hopefully be making our way into okay, that bricks. That is not netherrack. You don't get bricks in the nether. Um, I have no sound for some reason, but that's not the point. There is a guy here. Okay, there is a guy on Line. This isn't actually claimed. Look, if I if I F map, there are no claims around here. It's legit just entities. But I don't know if this guy is here. I haven't world downloaded anything. I haven't done anything. But guys, let's see if we can smash 750 likes in 24 hours. There's, there's TNT on me. But that's not the point. We need to find the best entry point now for this base. We need to find the best way in for this video. And where's that going to be? Maybe if he's right there, I don't know what he's up to. Rodrigo. Hello, Rodrigo. It's a chest. Can we swiftly open? Nothing. Okay. Did he alert him? No, he might just be fully AFK. So let's try find a really easy way in and let's just try go to the opposite side of the base just so we don't make that much noise and he won't really notice okay there's definitely horses there's horse spawners i can see those so let's drink another invis up before we do anything because obviously we don't want to we don't want to lose it uh, there we go okay let's fall down oh my god there's zombies there's actually zombie spawners is there skellies as well i need to make my way into where he is is that skellies if i just quickly hello rodrigo oh my god there's zombies and skellies in an unclaimed base okay right how are we gonna do this do we probably prioritize do we not prioritize i can guarantee like 90 percent of you in the comments right now are just yelling at me to prioritize i might get the skeletons first because if he does come back from being afk this is my thought of process he's looking directly this way he's looking directly into this so if i go this way and grab these first then he won't notice right there was eight skellies so we've got all eight. I'm surprised there was actually eight. That's a lot of money. That's close to three, four mil, something like that. But let's grab these zombies. Hopefully he won't notice or they don't go into his inventory. Let's take them. Okay, only one zombie. That's okay. The sooner we get everything, the sooner we can leave. As I slowly crouch past it, no one will notice. So I think he is fully AFK. Like, like legit. I, if I dance in front of him, he should. Okay, I don't I don't think he's here, to be honest. But let's grab these just so we can PV him. There's one horse. There is six mushroom. And we can honestly now, I think... Just check through completely. We should now completely be okay just to check through these chests. Oh, that was full of netherrack. We want to slowly... Uh, this one's got arrows, bones. Look like general just mob loot stuff. Um, an innocent potion of healing, some melons. Is this a melon farm too? I mean, I'll sell that for money because that's three melons pretty much. That's a three, four K and that's a lot of money. He's got raw beef. It's looking generally just it's like a farm base. I would be surprised if there was actually more in it, but oh, there's an ax, some legs, just P1. He's got some lava, some instant damage pots. Okay, we're going to kill him using these. I'm going to redeem myself from the last time I tried. Okay, so looking like this base is actually pretty much empty in comparison to everything else because honestly, I was expecting this to be a lot bigger if it was going to be a base because because people only really build bases in the nether if it's actually like a massive thing. I don't think I've ever found like a huge chest base in the nether. Someone do that so I can raid it. I mean, don't. Don't do that. Honestly, I'm wondering what we can do to this guy. Because it's unclaimed, obviously, we have like an infinite potential on what we can do. So I think we should maybe start trolling this guy just a little bit. I don't want to blow up his base at all. Because this guy's obviously gone to some effort to decorate it. And I don't really want to ruin it for him when he comes back. Obviously, then he can still move. Maybe use the same design. But obviously, people are going to come and like break it please don't if you find this let's just move the skeletons over here and then what we can do is i'm thinking what what y level are we at we're at y level two so we can't do anything going down but we might be able just to completely fill his base with like dirt or something i'm thinking that might be the best thing to do here or something so like when he comes back he gets like a bit of a shock because if we mine him down he should be at bedrock right there why am i jumping i press space bar for no reason actually i tell you what we're gonna do is we're i'm in a good mood all right i'm in a good mood with this guy i'm gonna do a nice thing and we're gonna leave him in here and what we're gonna do does he have any wood for like signs or anything let's just check his chests again two in there can we like scavenge it throughout every chest we should be able to right aha i thought i saw it 61 birch wood there we go so let's slash craft right now I'm, I'm trying to be very quiet like i know he can hear me which obviously isn't a factor at all we'll make three sign and what we will do is just be like hey bud i hope all is well and you made this unclaimed was too easy to find. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not really sorry. It's just, you know, in the AFK, you gotta just mess with them a little bit. I think that's the more fun in it, is just messing with the people, because this guy right now has no idea he's gonna come back from whatever he's doing and just see his base raided, which is mean in itself, but I hope you're able to get back on your feet. Raven. There we go. Okay, I think that's a good enough, like, sign thing for him to keep, but how much is he worth head value wise? Because I don't wanna... Oh, he's not gonna be able to see that. There we go. We'll leave... Oh, I don't know if he'll be able to read that either. Honestly, I'm not very good at this whole blocking 
taking people in thing. I'm used to just killing them and taking the money, but... Home looks like it is in this corner. So if I bow Rodrigo, he's worth 200k. So if I kill him, I want you guys once again, comment down below right now. I'll pause it right here just for a second. I want you guys to just pause the video and I want you guys to comment how much he is going to be worth with his head. Obviously, last time people nailed it on the head. Some people got very close. I'm going to go for it right now. So I'm going to kill him. Honestly, in the game. Ow, I hurt myself. Okay, he's gone. He had a pickaxe, a sword. Okay, so he was ready to kill me at like any moment. Okay, so he had a, a sharpness two. He had a haste one. Okay, I'm going to put all this in a chest room because I don't actually need his stuff. Um, Where can we put it? Put it here, here, there. And then we'll just put all his loot in there as well because it looks like he was actually grinding beforehand. But guys, I want you guys to comment right now how much you think the head is worth. And we are going to three, two, one it right now. We are going to go three, two, one. It is worth $40,000. If you guys guess $40,000, you are correct. Didn't, then you are wrong. You, you did not get it right. Did, did they, Mushroom? He doesn't speak English, does he? Now, the one thing we are going to have to do is grab an axe and basically just check for secret chests because, honestly, people do them on claim bases. You don't notice it. But if we just start mining the wall just a little bit, obviously, I can replace everything at the end. We don't want to, like, fully ruin his base because, obviously, everyone yells at me for that. So if we just mine around the... Oh, what's that? Okay, that's just, like, a hole. Let's just keep going round... Sorry, horse. Out the way. Go round and round we go until... What's this? This just looks like a corner. That's lovely. Uh, we are getting to it. A... There? The stone brick, but... Is there a secret room? Um, what is this? Is this like his murder room? What is this? It, he's got like custom enchants and stuff in here. Okay, the man has agile one. He's got backstab two. Unsta oh, invis. Okay, I don't ever think we need to be invis anymore. Let's just, you know, not go invis. He's got daily bows. He's got backstab two, unsteady arrow, unsteady arrow, and report, which honestly aren't that bad. He's got a weekly set and another weekly set. And this basically looks like his storage area. Maybe like his armor storage area. We're going to block it back up for him and just like replace the whole thing. There we go. We want to obviously be nice nice to the guy. I mean, obviously, we've just raided his base, but if I can obviously not blow our stuff up, that would probably be lovely. There we go. Pretty much all repaired. No one will ever know the difference. It all looks lovely, and he still isn't back, but we've left him some sign, which honestly, I hope if he sees, then he doesn't, you know, bully me or want to murder me. You know what I also do need to do is level up to level five. I think the last horde was a little bit ago, but I think what we need to do is actually do it so we can rank up, because we've been level five for the longest time. I need ten horde kills to do it, but what I might do is go back to the base and put all these spawners away because obviously oh let's quickly uh just before i do set home raid here again and then we will home home into the base and then we will go put all these away so obviously the faction then can do what they want with them obviously what oh that sound okay sounds going off for a second you won't hear anything that's because gas just screamed but the base design is now a base design it looks like a like a cave system or like a minecart thing i don't know what this is there's alts up there where is the storage stuff where do i put the stuff maybe it's up on the ladder i'll go up the ladder and then we'll find out together we'll do it is a team. Also, we know that's the important thing. Oh my god, what is this? This is so cool. So, do we just like put it in here? Like a free chest in the side? It looks just like armor, but obviously, we can just, you know, we'll just plonk it anywhere. Let's grab out all the spawners we got from today's raid, which is obviously a very good amount. And we'll put them in this chest right here. And we'll literally just say, like, to our faction, maybe just this is where the spawners are if you want them. If you if you do want them anyway, do we have anything else to put in? We've got one sheep we can put in there. Where's where's it gone? There we go. One sheep we can put in. And I just want to quickly have a look around there because it looks like just houses and stuff oh my god are these grinders what is this down here it's like leading me down what's this oh these are zombie pigmen oh my god okay so it's like the house is the grinder pretty much and there's like different ways in here oh my god magma cubes over here oh this is actually a really cool design yeah look we can we can kill some okay i didn't do that but honestly this is really really well done and i don't have actually have anything to open at the end of this video i wish i did i wish i did have some stuff but you know i end up just giving all my stuff away anyway because people are mean what we can do, I guess, is quickly just check if there are any extreme treasures on a H. There is. Okay, we can buy one of these. This guy sent it for 90k. Let's buy those and let's head over to shop. Because if you guys don't know, out of my end of all, I got two lockpick, like, for extreme treasures. I got, like, a 50% and a 40%. Let's redeem my two set homes. There we go. So, we have an extreme chest right now and we have our two lock. Guys, I don't know, the new lockpick, like, tier system thing. You now get it for each one. So, you get, like, a extreme lockpick for something else or something else. But we're going to go with the 50% first just to give it a go and we unlocked it first try which means we can get some good stuff now we can get legendary money pouch divine gear mystery mob mask we can get charms it's all really good and you all get this on by fishing so if you guys do want to go to head over to loot lake you might be able to fish yourself one of these and make some good money but let's open it up we got ourselves oh my god oh my god that is amazing we got ourselves two deluxe money pouches which is insane in itself we got a sunken legs protection is that five four protection four i'm breaking four and we got protection for depth strider 
Fire 3 Unbreaking 4. Okay, we're putting those on like straight away. Like both of these. These can be handy when we're making a god set later on. But let's open one money pouch right now. We got ourselves only like an 800k, a 300k. There we go. And let's open our last one. We got ourselves 500k, which has made a, actually a lot of money. We're at almost 5 mil now. Let's head and try see if there's a cheap one we can buy with our 40% lock pick. There we go. We have 40% now to open this. Please. It worked again. Okay, so we basically just got very, very lucky. I don't think I've ever been this lucky in my life. But we're going to open it up. We got ourselves personal headhunting booster and two deluxe money pouches again. So honestly, we've made our money back. And if anything, we can literally just head flip these. Because what these does is it gives you 1.5 XP, which makes you grind quicker, like etc, etc. So let's open up the first one. Oh my god, we got so unlucky. $70,000, not good at all. Hopefully we get something in the high 100,000s. With 900,000, there we go. I'll take that. Almost a million dollars right there. So we're back up to almost 6 mil. We've made a lot of profit just from those two things. Honestly, I think with that now, that is going to be the end of this video. Guys, let's see. Like I said, if we can smash 750 likes, if we can, that'd be really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a another video i hope everyone's had a brilliant day and i will see you guys then you know goodbye alvi design cheers